Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. President Joe Biden praised Pope Francis as, quote, the most significant warrior for peace I've ever met during a closely watched meeting at the Vatican October 29th. The meeting between the two world leaders took place against a backdrop of deep divides in the American Catholic Church. The Pope and the President met privately for more than 75 minutes, setting what is believed to be the longest meeting between Francis and any world leader. Francis met President Donald Trump for about 30 minutes in 2017, and he met President Barack Obama for 52 minutes in 2014. Discussion of climate change topped the agenda of Biden's meeting with the Pope. They also discussed, according to the Vatican, the ongoing fight against the COVID-19 pandemic and the needs of migrants and refugees. Quote, reference was also made to the protection of human rights, including freedom of religion and conscience. The Vatican stated a potential reference to disagreements between the Holy See and the Biden administration on abortion rights and certain religious liberty cases. Some conservative Catholics see both the President and the Pope as threats to traditional Catholic orthodoxy because the President supports legal abortion and gay rights, and France's prioritization of issues including climate change, poverty, and the plight of migrants and refugees over issues of sexual morality. A statement from the White House noted that the President praised the Vatican's efforts with Christian groups around the globe to work toward climate neutrality. Biden is in Rome for the October 30-31 G20 Summit, a major intergovernmental forum addressing global economic concerns. He then will travel to Glasgow, Scotland for the UN COP26 meeting on climate change. The Vatican had planned to provide live stream footage of Biden's arrival in the palace's throne room and the initial greeting between the Pope and the President. Those arrangements were abruptly canceled on October 28th, much to the dismay of White House and Vatican reporters. Vatican officials cited the COVID-19 pandemic for denying external media access to the start and end of the meeting. Media typically is allowed at other papal events. Anyone entering Vatican property must show proof of vaccination or proof of a negative COVID test. Eric Lecomte, executive director of Jubilee USA Network, told NCR that the meeting between Biden and Francis is critical and it spotlights the two most important and vocal leaders on changing global policies right before the G20. Lecomte said the Biden administration was the first to mandate that all government agencies spending comply with its climate mitigation policies. Earlier Friday, Francis met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in, also a Roman Catholic, and on Saturday, October 30th, Pope Francis will meet with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. That will mark the first meeting of the head of the 1.3 billion member Catholic Church and the leader of India's 1.3 billion people. Although the meeting between the President and the Pope had dominated headlines around the globe. Joan Rosenauer, Executive Director of Jesuit Refugee Service USA, said that she was encouraged that the issue of refugees appeared to be a priority for the leaders. Citing Biden's Catholic faith, Rosenauer said she knew the meeting with the Pope means a great deal to Biden on a personal level, adding that she hopes it will, quote, inspire the president to more fully welcome the stranger through U.S. policy. Quote, we were very happy that Mr. Biden fulfilled his promise to raise the maximum number of refugees admitted to the U.S. this year to 125,000, as he had promised, but the infrastructure and resources needed to resettle those refugees have been gutted in recent years and have to be rebuilt to achieve those numbers, she told NCR. Stephen Schneck, who recently stepped down as executive director of Franciscan Action Network, and was also a co-chair of Catholics for Biden during the 2020 election, said the fact that the two discussed issues related to the environment, migrants, and poverty shows that the church is not focused solely on one issue, that of abortion. Lecomte said it was no surprise that climate change, the pandemic, and poverty relief took center stage. Quote, 
This meeting was about a unified front from the most important global leaders, responding to the pandemic from both a moral perspective and a policy perspective, he said. Quote, he exercised all the authority of the first beast, and he required all the earth and its people to worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed. Revelation 13, 12. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.